Ottawa has 24 national monuments and memorials, all different shapes and sizes. Now, the largest, most prominent monument in the nation's capital is the National War Memorial. Now, Ottawa is getting another monument. It's yet to be built. It will honor the victims of communism. Entirely appropriate, but everything about this story is completely bizarre. For starters, it came out of nowhere. This was the brainchild of two cabinet ministers, Jason Kenney and then John Baird. And these boys, they have big egos. So this is not just any monument. This is going to be huge. If they were going to have their names on it, it had to be bigger and more imposing than the National War Memorial. I'm sorry, that's just weird. The entire thing covers an entire city block, downtown. The land alone is worth $30 million. The land was supposed to be for a federal court building. Kenny and Beard went in behind closed doors and the site was theirs. Now, is this on the up and up? I don't know. But they kept the land transfer secret for an entire year. What does that tell you? It's like the entire thing is shrouded in so much mystery, it's like they took inspiration from the communist countries the memorial is condemning. Now, John Baird, he says the people of Ottawa, they want this. Now, personally, me, I think the people of Ottawa, they want a hockey rink that's not 36 kilometers away. But that's another story. What is true is this government, for all their talk of transparency, allowed two cabinet ministers to decide without any consultation that the war memorial should be a poor cousin. This is nothing but a nervous government trying desperately to cement themselves in history before it's too late. This is not how grown-up countries act.